Hello, everybody. My name is Sandra. <laughs> I have nothing in front of me. I just realized, but it's kind of on purpose because I just received the last bit of my Franklin haul. So I did get this in two separate orders because uh, the first one was a classic size haul. And then the the next one was uh, for my compact and I had ordered the compact stuff prior, uh, but my order hadn't gone through. So I reordered. I called the, uh, the company Franklin Planner and they I ordered it Friday and I got it today, which is Thursday. So that is pretty darn good. Mind you, they do ship out of Utah, which is pretty close to the Canadian border. So uh, anyway, I just thought I'd say that. And I want to share the products I got with you today. So as you guys know, I plan in a classic Franklin planner. That's my main um, way that I plan. And um, recently I have started, as of June, using my compact. Here's my compact. I've been using this Miranda binder um, that I purchased on the Facebook buy and sell for like really, really um, cheap, which I'm really super excited about because I wasn't sure how I wanted this to look, but this is kind of like my going out binder. Um, something that I, I do use every day at home as well, but it's not my main planning component because it doesn't offer me the room that I need. I switched to 1.25 inch rings. Um, I borrowed these rings specifically out of my vintage Aurora, so I'm gonna have to replace them again, but um, I just wanted to, to share that because yeah this binder was one inch and it was way too small so I have been using the jeans agenda items to decorate it to make it look cute and uh, I think I'm going to go with the theme change each month and just you know change it up I might not change all of the elements I am using cloth and paper dividers in here and um, some of these are from cloth and paper um, some bits and pieces are from um, simply gilded some are from Jane's Agenda, <laughs> and uh, this is from Once More With Love. It's like the envelope, and I just, I punched it um, because I thought it, it would make a cute little, like, pocket if I wanted to slip some stickers in there, but it's also just really pretty, so I wanted to put that in there. Um, yeah, I have bits and pieces from everywhere. I've got some pockets here from cloth and paper, some sticky notes, and some page flags, just like everything. But this is my main planner for going out. So I do put all of my information on my calendar. Um, this is my business calendar, and this is my main calendar here. So this is where everything goes. Um, I pretty much put like all of my stuff on this calendar, including all of my videos. And I feel like I feel like the dots are too big, so I'm gonna have to decrease the dot size for next time for June for July. Um, but I will potentially be using the goal section in here for July because um, I think I have the July goal inserts. Yeah, I do. Um, because July is the, the new quarter. So although I don't have this broken up into quarters, the third quarter is July, August, September. And so I'll be setting that up as well. But that will be um, my July setup for the end of the month. Um, it won't be this week coming up, it'll be the week after. So the very last week. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to uh, to do that because it's going to, it's going to actually be quite a bit of work. So I am excited though. I want to, include more stickers in here. I'm using Plan So Cute stickers in here mostly, but I've only got a handful. So I wanna include some more and um, yeah. But I've been enjoying this binder. It barely closes. Um, it closes without a pen, but as soon as I put my pen in there, it doesn't close. <laughs> um, I have a highlighter in there too. But yeah, so this is my binder. I take it to karaoke. I take it to doctor's appointments and stuff. Um, and then I also, I do have, um, my pink Anna binder. It's the other compact binder I have as well as my two vintage, vintage Auroras. I've got the Blue Mirage and the Purple Pomeria, um, but um, I use those a lot when I first got them and I wanted to do something different and something that was a bit more um, that I felt comfortable to abuse, I guess. <laughs> Not that I'm rough with my planners at all, but in case it gets left in my vehicle, in case it's in the hot sun, um, you know, in case it gets thrown around in my purse and gets scratched up, I don't feel as bad about wrecking something that's not only pre-owned, but that's not leather. Because I do know that pe the Pentina effect is nice. Well, your leather looks broken in, but I just, it just kills me to, to think that my vintage drawers might get abused in that fashion. So I have used them, though. I do use them still. And I will probably um, keep this one for July, but I might switch out in August. I haven't decided yet. 
All right, so without, without further ado, I'm gonna share with you the classic items first and then we'll do the compact. So guess what you guys, I got a new binder. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. This is the Laura binder. It is simulated leather, 1.25 inch rings. You can find them on the website. I will link it down below in the description. It is a snap binder. So again, um, it's always an issue when you do tend to, um, you know, really um, fill your binders up. So I do have inserts in here. I put my um, things for July that I was planning on having. I haven't quite decided yet whether I want my Agendio inserts in here or whether I'm going to be doing my Franklin inserts. The only ones that I have available actually are the, um, well, I do have these Teresa Collins weeklies. I like those because I do like decorating during the week. And then I also have my, um, Fancy Plants Co. inserts for my business. I do enjoy decorating for the week. And when I use my Agendio inserts, I have no decoration. So I just, whatever, I just kind of leave it. Um, the binder came with these page lifters. They are the black ones. There's kind of like a generic, generic thing for this binder. Um, this, I have no idea what this is doing in there, but this was in there. Okay, so yeah, so everything like the, this, the hardware is gold. And it's basically the same setup as my Olivia binder. So it has the one pocket at the back, the two pen loops. Um, and then it's got these two folders right here, little pockets. And then it's got one, two, three, four, five um, business card slots. So I usually just decorate this. I'll put business cards here um, in case I do have this binder out. I like to slip a few in there so I can hand out my cards. Um, and uh, yeah. But usually I just put decorative materials in here. So actually, before I go ahead and do anything, I'm going to switch out my rings. I purchased um, new 1.25 to replace my vintage Aurora ones because, again, I only have an inch um, from the Miranda binder. And then these are 1.5 inch ring classic rings. Um, and then these are 1.25, like I was saying. So this is going to allow me to expand quite a bit. So I have my Allen key here. I'm just going to quickly do this. I'll do this uh, and fast forward it here. Okay, so I just want to see how she closes. Um, things still look to be good. So I'm just going to have to be concerned if this closes or not. So once I go ahead and switch out, um, I will figure it out and see what goes on there. Um, in my binders, the rings don't wreck this part here because I always keep the page inserts in. Um, and these do protect not only from the rings, right, because, but they protect your pages as well, so your pages don't get bent at the back. I find it's never really an issue at the front, it's usually just the back. So if you want to prevent that, you have to have one of these hard plastic things, or you can use like a, um, even a notepad works too. Like if you have a hard cardboard back to notepad, that'll work. Okay, so for now, I'm going to leave this in here, but I just wanted to share this binder with you. I, guys, I love this binder. It comes in yellow, and it comes in this um, I think this is hydrangea blue is what it's called. And so for me, what it reminded me of is um, kind of like the ocean. So it can be used in winter, can be used in January or February even, um, which might be a possibility. But it reminds me of the ocean and more specifically, um, a two ocean themed kits I'll be receiving hopefully soon. So Jane's agenda for July is very ocean themed. It's more Mediterranean blue, I think. Um, but I'm going to put that in here if I get it, as well as my um, Planners Anonymous kit for, I guess it would be for, is it June? It might be the June one. I can't remember. I know that they're running behind, but um, anyway, the Coastal Escape, and that is for, that would match this kit perfectly. So like this binder, I mean, um, because it's this like beautiful colors would match. And I'm so excited to share that with you when it comes in. Unfortunately, my Planners Anonymous kit might be late because it was returned because they can't at the border. They declared that the 
the pen was a dangerous item because I had ink in it. So we'll have to see. So for now, I will play around um, and see which inserts I like better. The reason why I picked my Agendio inserts was because they were blue. So I'll show you what these, like for July, this is the color of the inserts right here. So it really matches this binder. Um, so I'm not sure if I'll be using these. I mean, they're really more, um, they're not as pretty, I guess, because I don't really use stickers in them as often. It's just really functional for me. Um, and then this is my week that I use. So I'll either use um, this or I might use the seven habits. We'll see because I do have those as well. And I think they would go okay. It's just for the month of July, I'm pretty sure that the color in there is green, if I'm not mistaken. But I'll show you guys during the monthly setup and then I'll tell you what I've decided to do. So for now, I'm just going to close this. So I'm really, I'm really liking this binder and I'm glad I switched the rings out. Okay. Um, and then the other, I think I already put these away in my Franklin like storage binder, but um, I did also order some um, business card holders for classic size. So they're the things that I usually used to put my task cards in and it came with four, a four on one page. And then you just put your task cards in each of them. Um, you can also use them for two by three inch photos. So I ordered two of those as well. But now for the compact inserts, I'm excited for this because Honestly, guys, this is the first time I've ordered full products for compact. Um, I usually ordered just like the monthlies and then I would have like the um, progressive task cards. But this is the first time I've actually went ahead and ordered like a full system for compact um, because I'm pretty excited about it and pretty. Yeah, I'm just. Oh, what is happening here? The storage binder is messed up. Good thing this is a storage binder and not a real binder. <laughs> I've never actually got a compact binder before and like for storage material and they're so cute. This is the teal one or the turquoise one. Okay, so the first thing that I got were these page protectors. So for compact size, they give you two and you can put documents, you can put receipts in here. Um, sometimes they're less bulky than like a folder. Depends what you use it for, really. If you want to put like um, a decorative page in here or some photos or something, you can use that in here in my binder to decorate. So I have those. Okay, so I also got some weekly compass cards. Now, I do not have any compass cards for my, my compact. And the reason is because I didn't really want to be that excessive in or that detailed in my compact planning where I'd need compass cards. Um, because I do have that in my classic and I do want these to work in tandem. So really they're going to be um, similar, but still different in, in different ways. And plus the writing on these are so tiny. Like you can see if I take this cardboard out. You know what? Actually, sometimes I keep these. If I have a vellum that I want to show up really well, I'll keep this or vellum or an acetate. So these are really tiny. <laughs> they're so cute. I don't know if I ordered the page finder. I think I have a page finder for, uh, yes, I do. Right here. It came when I ordered the binder. Um, it's actually a ruler as well. So I can put those in there. So that works. So yeah. So, I mean, I could still add these too. If I, if I was going on a trip, if I was going to Red Deer, I don't have to bring my whole classic size binder. I can simply have my compact. So those are the second item. And again, I might use a compass card um, for the month of July. I'm not quite sure. I also have this little envelope. So this one just opens on the side. The red part opens up and then you can put, um, you know, receipts. You can put stickers in here. That's what I use my, my classic one for is some stickers. Again, it does add bulk, so you have to be careful. Okay, and then I got some more progressive task cards, but this gives you 26 cards and so they just look like this. And they're card stock, so they don't get bent. You don't need to put them in a protector or anything. You just punch out the little holes and you can keep them in your binder and then you can pull it out at need. Yeah, I did order two of those. So I'm gonna have to call and find out what happened to the other, the other one. 
Okay, and then I got these. So I am going to open these up because I want to know what they look like. So this is basically just note paper. Um, one of them was on sale. I can't remember which one. And not by much. It was like a dollar off or something. Um, and the fun thing about these Her Point of View inserts is that they just released a new version for the summer. And it's kind of updated artwork and stuff. So here is, I already have these ones. I really like the design. So it's like mostly blue. There's this design. Then this one, the yellow one. And this blue sailboat. And then this one, I'm not sure if it's balloons or, it doesn't say, but they're so cute. So anyway, I also like, the thing I like about these particular note pages is the font. I like the notes font at the top. And then this one, these are new to me. So you've got the blue um, plants there. This is a girl at a desk. Um, this looks just like a, like a girl, I'm not sure, in front of a window. And this is in the night sky. So, and then that one's sitting down. These are just plain note paper. Um, just says notes in like... Um, you know, typewriter type font, and that's it. So those are the two note pages packs I got because you always need lots of note paper. And then, of course, the Her Point of View, July 2023 to June 2024, two pages per day. So these are the new ones. I'm excited to see what the designs are. I've never had Her Point of View inserts before in classic or compact. Um, okay, cute. I love them already. And so what I do when I put mine together, I actually will go through, I'll go to January and I'll put the January day um, in January. And then when I'm in that month, I'll pull that whole month, put it in my planner. And then when I'm done, I put it at the back of my storage binder, if that makes sense. But I just like to organize my stuff like that. So it gives you the planner guide okay the quick start guide it gives you the index for july the calendar and then it goes right into august so these are the calendars i just love the colors on here they're so cute i think i'm really gonna like the artwork so i'm just gonna go right to the back um okay so and they're all different too. I like that elephant. I just want to know when they repeat. What was the first one? Okay, so it was a girl holding a plant. I just want to see if they repeat. Those are really pretty. I think they're all different. And so honestly, guys, when I'm looking at this, this little space here is hardly big enough for me. I mean, so what I've taken to do in, oh yeah, here it repeats. So that 14 different repeats or 14 different um, designs. Yeah, because here's the elephant. So it was on the 14th. That's actually really surprising. Um, but like, I do a lot of the same things. And while technically I could put that on a tracker, and I was thinking of putting that on a tracker. Um, like, for instance, like I always do my Hobonichi. I always do my planning. I always do my journaling in the morning. Um, I always do my expenses. So there are certain things that I'll track on the trackers. And in here, I don't have a tracker. So I'll either have to track on the notes side of things or try to figure it out in that regard. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do yet. I just wanna see if it starts over. You've got your business expense on that side, and your index. Yeah, it starts over. So this is for um, August or yeah, August. So you do get two indexes too. So you'll have the index on the monthly pages and then the index on the daily, the beginning of the daily. So I don't really know why you would need two, 
unless people plan differently, of course. Then you get some future planning sheets back in the very back. So I just want to see what there is here. July future planning, August. I think you get like a whole month's worth. October, November, December, which might be good because then you can write ahead any appointments or dates of things that you need to know, even to April, June, should take you right to June 2025. And then of course you've got like the smaller ones for 2026, 2027, and 2028. And then that's it. All right, so I'm just gonna put this in my storage binder. And you guys, I'm so excited to set up for July. I can't wait to share this with you. It's kind of cool how this fits into the storage binder. <laughs> But it's actually perfect timing because I need to go pick up my mom from work because her car is broken down right now. So um, brings us to 1230 <laughs> and um, I'll have this video posted up and running for Friday and then Saturday will be my classic plan with me. So, so yeah, so I'll we'll have next week to work on these um on these uh, videos. So I'm going to have my July classic plan with me and hopefully all of those like Planners Anonymous and Jean's Agenda things come in so I can decorate my planner how I really want to because I think it's going to look so cute. And then I can also set up my compact with my new inserts. So I'm so happy that these came in because I think they're just so adorable. Oh, and then um, these are technically 2023, 2024. Um, so I'll put 2024 because these will carry me right through. This binder is so cute. There we go. All right. So guys, tell me what you think. I want to know. I want to hear your thoughts. <laughs> and I will have to call Franklin to find out what happened to my other progressive task cards because I know I ordered two. So Thank you guys so much. Um, please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you're new, please subscribe. I would love to have you click on that bell notification button. You'll be reminded every time I upload content to YouTube and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye friends.